Okay, welcome back. On this episode, we're going to focus on removing the oil pan from my car. This will attempt to be somewhat of a comprehensive guide, instructional manual, if you will, on how to remove it. Uh, we'll see how that goes, on how much I can actually record with how much time I have. That said, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove the oil from the pan by removing the 17 millimeter drain plug. I've got my uh, large bucket here on top of a toolbox to account for the inevitable arc that the oil will pull out at. So give me a minute here and I'll get right to that. Lost some skin while uh, removing that uh, drain pan. Well, I mean, well, loosening it. But that's okay. This sort of thing happens when you work on a 30-year-old car. It's just a flesh wound. Okay, I've gotten it loose enough that I can just unbolt it by hand. I should have worn gloves in the first place when I did this. just don't want to drop it in the bucket of oil. There we go. What we're going to focus on now is removing this line, this very large line that feeds directly to the turbocharger here. I think it might be a direct feed line or a turn line. I can't remember which. But it's a line to the turbo. It uses either a 35 or a 37 millimeter wrench. Or if you have a really big adjustable wrench, that'll work too. We're going to remove this line. So, to remove that giant oil line, I need this giant 36 millimeter wrench. The biggest wrench I've ever used for anything in my life. Probably won't be the biggest later on, but for now it is the biggest. So not only do you need a 36 millimeter wrench to remove this giant nut, but you need to use a 32 to counter rotate against one another on the actual pan itself, that way you have good amount of torque to remove them given that most cars will probably not have had this done before so this will probably be a lot of muscle on my part probably not going to record this part for that very reason but I will show you what it looks like when I take it off sit rep uh, this hose is a lot harder to remove than it seems because it requires a lot more torque and it's a pain in the butt. Let me explain really quickly by moving. Excuse me. There we go. So, what's happened is that in my attempt to loosen the main nut, it's kind of like a tube nut here, to remove that one from this one, I've actually loosened that one connected to the oil pan, which rotates this entire hose assembly and has uncrimped this end of the entire hose, causing it to spring a leak right there. Which means I'll have to get a new hose crimped on there to replace it, which is fine. Just another step in the process. But I'm gonna need more muscle to remove this entire assembly. So, I'm gonna have to call a friend to help at some point this week. So, I'm going to end this episode for now and uh, we'll make a part two or three video to remove the oil pan if necessary. So until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.